Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to get going. What lies ahead, I have no way of knowing. But under my feet, baby, the grass is growing. Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to get going. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, Oregon's chain requirement during winter uh, weather. And I've just become aware of it. I happen to be in the middle of Oregon right now, and it's February. So I see all kinds of different signs. But I just want to walk through real quick um, what uh, the general aspect of the requirement is, is that you carry chains with you uh, at all times during snow zones. And there will be some kind of fine if you are required to chain up and you don't have them. That's what I understand. Now, I want you to understand, too, that I'm not a legal authority and I'm not trying to purport to be one. So the information I'm giving you, you need to check it out and make sure that uh, that uh, uh, what I'm saying is accurate uh, for you in your own application. So anyway, I'm here at Google and I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, Oregon chain. Actually, I'm going to put snow because that's what I did before. So I'm going to go snow chain law. Boom. Okay, and what comes up, you can see uh, from the uh, Oregon government website, it says change are required in Oregon uh, whenever winter conditions exist and snow zone signs are posted advising drivers to carry or use them. Now, I've been driving up Interstate 5 and I've seen at least three signs uh, that actually say that this is a snow zone that uh, that uh, chains uh, you know chains are required. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I want to get more information about uh, certain things. I also so so we're going to go to the uh, the uh, Oregon.gov o dot uh, pertaining to um, pertaining to chains. I'm going to scroll up just a little bit here to where it says uh, chains and traction tires because there's some good information there. Of course, they say it's a lot easier to do uh, whatever practice before you basically get into snowy conditions. Um, but anyway, I'm going to continue to scroll down and it'll give information about chaining up and driving with chains and stuff. Studded tires um, and uh, you know, there, there's a violation of, uh, it says you can use studded tires during this time, driving with them before or after this time period here uh, is a class C uh, violation. Ooh. Anyway, uh, it, you'll be fined nearly $200. But again, then with, uh, I'm going to keep scrolling down. It has alternatives to studded tires. And of course, it's talking about, uh, you know, tire chains and devices, and you can take a look there. Well, one of the things uh, that I think is interesting is this highlighted portion here that says traction tires. Other, it says other traction tires. Um, so I'm going to click on that. And again, this is on the Oregon.gov uh, information. And it says traction tires here. And it says when you drive in winter conditions, you may see signs telling you to carry chains or traction tires and, and when you are required to use them. In some areas, uh, lighted message signs can also advise you about chaining up. Uh, and you can read the rest of this uh, paragraph if you want and click here for the chain law. But this is what I'm interested in here is the second paragraph. It says in typical winter conditions, vehicles rated at 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight or less and not towing or being towed are allowed to use traction tires in place of chains. Let me say this another way. If you if your vehicle is over 10,000 um, pounds gross vehicle weight, if it is towing anything or if it is being towed, then traction tires are not enough. Uh, there will need to be uh, chains involved somehow. That's how this reads. So the, the second issue is, however, in very bad winter condition, all vehicles may be required to use chains regardless of the type of vehicle 
or type of tire being used. So that's the issue where if you get yourself stuck in a in a particular situation where they are requiring that you chain up, you have to have chains. Otherwise, if they have to help you out, there'll be a fine of some kind. Uh, there is what I understand. I have not seen specifically what that is, what that fine is, but uh, any fine uh, sucks. So uh, it doesn't matter how much it is. I do know that for commercial carriers, okay, these are big rig trucks, that uh, if they are found not to be using chains, uh, they can they can be fined eight hundred and eighty dollars, uh, and that's a lot. So, but of course that's uh, that's commercial. But uh, anyway, so um, uh, this next statement says uh, this is known as a conditional road closure. So that means that they're going to close the road and not let you go any further unless you chain up. Conditional road closure may occur on any of Oregon's highways and are frequent in the winter on Interstate 5 through the Siskiyou Pass south of Ashland. Now, that's another little thing about checking uh, checking weather conditions or road conditions from California. You will get information from uh, uh, Caltrans, uh, the the Department of Transportation called Caltrans. You'll get that, and you will get you can get uh, even in a storm, you can get uh, a um, uh, you can get a statement that says that Interstate Five is open to the Oregon border, and that's fine. But the problem is once you get past the Oregon border or into Oregon, you're still climbing, and you're going to this area that's called Siskiyou Pass. And Siskiyou Pass is the place where most people get in trouble. Uh, it's really only a, a short stretch of road that normally that you have to chain up on. I had to a few years ago chain up uh, heading south, um, up by Mount Ashland, heading south on Interstate 5. And we only had to change, uh, chain up for about uh, be, between a quarter, quarter and half a mile. It was really more like a quarter of a mile because the only issue was this one turn, this one corner that uh, you needed to be chained up for. And uh, uh, so just don't be fooled by checking California road conditions. You can find that it's great to the, uh, uh, you know, up to the Oregon border, but it's just north of, just north of the California-Oregon border that uh, the issue here, especially on Interstate 5 during the winter months, um, can happen. So this is where Siskiyou Pass is, just south of Ashland, Oregon. Okay. Traction tires are studded tires, retractable studded tires, or, this is important, or other tires that meet the tire industry definition as suitable for use in severe snow conditions. This is what I found most interesting, very helpful. Here, tires designated by the tire industry as suitable for use in severe snow conditions are marked with, with a mountain snowflake. Now you see, I've known M and S to mean mud and snow, but in this sense, it means mountain dash slow snowflake emblem on the sidewall, and it looks like this: it looks like a mountain with uh, with the um, snowflake in it. There. Now, I happen to have a set of tires that are not the beefiest. Uh, of all-terrain tires, but they are considered all-terrain tires. And I checked those this morning, and goody for me, my tires have this emblem. So basically, I'm going to be okay uh, even going through a snowy situation as long as it's not, as not um, one of these uh, conditional road closures that they talked about here where chains would be required. So technically I don't have to carry chains. So uh, anyway, time, I'd like keep to yourself safe. You that this is not and, meant to be legal uh, advice. You need to check these, and, this information you know, out. I just uh, showed say, you the you website chains, that had a lot of that information great. on it. Uh, and I hope it's helpful you for you. But you don't have again, chains, don't just take my word for it. Just go some of the places that I've shared with you that you can go to get your own information. Okay, safe travels, and we'll talk to you next time. Far away from your troubles and